In any Minecraft world, hardcore or normal core, food is an essential ingredient. How you doing, everybody? It's me, fully sacked to Diamond Up Waddles, here back in Chicago. Ugh. More on that in a minute. How you doing, everybody? It's me, and when it comes to food, that's where I'm at. We desperately, sadly, and... I don't know, I don't got another cool word, but we need more food. Today, that is the exact and entire plan. All right, so before we get too far into today's episode, I have a small confession to make. A confession about our little town here. Throwback back to episode one. In episode number one, I crowned the city Chicago. I gotta be honest, it was all a desperate guy's an attempt to, to throw you off in the world seed guessing game. Seven letters, hey, I thought it was pretty clever. Didn't really work. Even worse, no offense to the word Chicago or nothing like that, but I hate the city name. Like, I, I desperately despise it to the point of not even wanting to let it roll off my tongue. I hate it. And so, a contest opens up right here, right now. And down below in the comments, you already know how this works. I need a great city name for our base, humble little town over here in the middle of the desert. Could be anything you want. To enter the contest, drop your coolest best name idea down below, tap like on this video, and like the other names that you see down there that you think are cool. In a couple episodes time, we'll come back over, ring this honorary bell or something like that, and christen the brand new city name. Huh, so farms, 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 ugh. Had looking around at our stockpile of food that we have all over the city, farms, farms. <sighs> We're gonna have to kick this one off in a, a low-key way, a low-key. In a brand new Minecraft world, there's kind of like a natural flow to things. A couple things you need to do to get established right away. I was so tempted, and kind of can't lie, still am tempted, to take these cows, throw them inside of a hopper contraption, and call it boom, wham, good. I could totally do that, and I think it would work out really, really nicely. But I also always do that. I, I always do. I did a little bit of thinking in between episodes, and I think I've cracked up a better plan. Before we can initiate that plan, it's time for an adventure. Sheep, sheep, I need to find a couple of sheep so I can actually initiate this initiative. Uh, looking around here, we got a giant jungle. I don't remember if sheep spawn in the jungle. Then we got a forest. They could definitely spawn over there. I feel like I got a glimpse of a savanna as well, so why not? Let's explore. Ah, coming up over this hill here. Yes, yes, a giant forest, a big cave. It's beautiful. Oak wood. I don't know if I ever got any oak wood inside of this world. Did I? Is this a special moment? What am I saying? Of course I have oak wood. I'm sorry about that. Sheep, 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 sheep. But I don't have a, a spyglass. I should have found the investigated that geo a little more. But sheep beep. With special zoom power, I found him. Good friend, good friend. Drop the three wool. Yes, drop the three wool. You're beautiful. It's so perfect. Do it again. Drop the three wool. No, oh, you dropped two wool. Okay, well... I think I'm gonna need like one more piece of wool at least to pull off what I need to. Oh, 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 oh. Can I say on a side note that already inside of this world, it's day number 12, and I have to say, with every passing day, I fall deeper and deeper, more madly in love with this world. And the experience in general, it's so nice. Hardcore Minecraft with like the new features and everything like that. I know we haven't touched on too many of them quite yet. It's kind of just been like the basic early game stuff, you know? But soon, very soon, we're gonna dive into everything new, cool, and fancy, and I, look, I, I just want to say thank you all for joining me on this journey, allowing me to journey into this journey, and, you know, all the other nice, sentimental, emotional things that are, I, it's raining outside, my eyes aren't welling up, it's just the rain. Hey, wait a second, look at that, pumpkins, I, I don't know if I have any use for any pumpkins at all right now, but... I'll sure as heck find a use a little bit later on. Back at home sweet home, bright and early, the very, ooh, that's dangerous. This is a dangerous, dangerous thing. I could very well easily walk away from the city for one second and come back and there's zombies all over the place. What? The whole time this has been here. Oh, that's terrible. Who would have known? And why are you in the caves mining? No, come on, get out of here. Back over at home sweet home with what feels like the entirety of the entire world's wool population. It's bedtime. As in like, we craft some beds. So I said I didn't want to do things the normal plain old way. That means cow crusher, it's off limits, at least for today. But taking a look at the citizens of Chicago. Don't, hey, I, it's, I don't think it's just me, but don't they look a little bored? I should probably put them to good work. 
A loss is time for one thing and one thing only. The love chamber. Villager, where did you run off to? I need you. You're very important. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you take the long way. That's fine. That's cool. Go to the love chamber. Mm, I love how, how willing you are to work. No, come this way over to the love chamber. Your workstation's right over there. Got the beds queued up too. The only other ingredient that I'm going to need to investigate here is food. I uh, I know Minecraft. I know you guys need food. I kind of hate that I had to do this, but I took around a look around at the local village and I found these hay bales right here. I think inside of this village I've got you and then two other villagers. If I could get these guys to breed once, then I would have more than enough villagers to repopulate the city and take two, move them over to a brand new beautiful farm. And so, just like the swellingly brained Minecraft expert that I am, it was time to slide over to the brand new much improved minecraft wiki villager breeding villager breeding how much bread do i need to give the villager for villager breeding bread huh they're gonna make me do the math a villager requires 12 food points to be considered ready to breed and each piece of bread gives four points if i do that quick math that's gonna be three bread for each villager and that should do the trick now that i have way more than enough beds here too i think you no know, you, you take the food no no i think you're stealing the food come on come on i have more than enough uh, beds come back over here get the food yes 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 one more piece of food maybe no okay you don't need it maybe you don't need it just share with your friend i've got the beds you got the workstation you got the space you got the food ah this is in a romantic sun afternoon look you don't even notice the creep in the corner watching you both of them you making the baby, romantic midday baby making. Let's go. I would hate to do it, but I will give you one more piece of food. I'm just not sure. I think your friend over there, Bozo, stole all the food. Come on, get a little bit more romantic, please. I know you want to. Look at you guys. Perhaps maybe we move romantic beds a little bit closer. Now it's even more romantic. Look at this. Look at you. Come on. Yes, look at He's watching. Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? He's looking over. No, come on. Turn around. Stop, please. Please look at each other. Stop. Stop caring. There's more to life than work, you know. There's way more to life than work. <laughs> so I uh, don't know if this is a thing, but what if I break maybe the other beds? Because I'm, I'm going to have way more than enough beds over there. But maybe come around the village and break the other beds just temporarily. I'll put them back. So then they like reclaim those ones and they stay over there the entire day, night. Uh, all of it, maybe. You know, I just realized I don't think I, yeah, I never reopened this one. Is anybody here? Any minute here, any minute now, I can feel the tensions in the air. Any minute now. Where are you leaving to? Don't leave, okay? Stay right there. I got it all right together, please. Oh, there's another one, too. Oh, you're crazy. Other bonus villager, what's that? You want a little bit of food, too? Yeah, you can have it. Now, everybody should be queued up and ready to go. And even better, there's more than enough beds all over the town. I know it, for sure. That's a long pause, and that's a really, really long pause. I guess in the meantime, um, while I wait patiently, so patiently, I'll just, I guess, harvest the food up a little bit. Yeah, why not? Early the next morning. <gasps> You're looking down. <gasps> You're looking down. You're looking down. One of you did it. One of you did it. I don't know who it was, but one of you did it. The celebration bell. We ring it. Yes, amazing day. Amazing day, my friends. You've done it. All we needed is one baby villager for this contraption, the farm that I'm going to build. Wow. <laughs> Just like that, we can crack on with it. Considering the fact that it's sunset right now, I'll let you, you know, have a good family reunion at nighttime, whatever. I don't know where you're all going to, but family reunion at nighttime. The beds are over here. Please just come back. Nope, they're over here. Okay. All right. At dawn, we farm. Bright and early the next morning, I think it's about time we go ahead and actually unfortunately chop this bamboo farm down you see i want to build a fully automatic villager crop farm i think pulling off one of these things should be relatively simple the ingredients that we're gonna need to get our hands on is really two villagers and some hoppers and a composter all of those are like tied for the easiest things in the world to get another thing we're gonna need to find for this farm is the perfect location it needs to always be loaded in and imagine it villagers 24 7 harvesting potatoes for me on top of this hill It'll be beautiful. Oh yeah, by the way, over here inside of the house, I did a little bit of organization. It looks like I might have to reorganize a little bit more, but yeah, it's cleaner than ever. You know what? No, I don't trust you. It's stay in the boat. And so, with the world's greatest bamboo farm, check done, gone, dusted, and out of the way, we'll rebuild it later. We now have the perfect build site for our beautiful build today. 
so next up, I'm a little bit nervous about this, but next up, I was thinking that I want this build to look really, really good. And off in the distant, not so distant horizon over there, would you take a look at that block? Terracotta, terracotta. I feel like terracotta could be one of the best looking blocks of all time. At least like the plain stuff to use as a base for the build. <gasps> oh no, that's an omen. He's been here. Oh no. One stack of terracotta? Yeah, that should do. Now the other thing that I need to get my hands on, yes, the other thing located clean down there, nice and easy, is a little bit of dirt. Of course, if I'm going to put villagers inside of this farm, aha, and if I'm gonna have villagers inside of this farm and have them auto power it until the end of time, well, I'm gonna need the block that they like to plant things on. 64 plus about 20 more, that's gonna be more than good enough for a solid nine by nine square of dirt. Last but not least here today, ah, this build site. Hmm, that's a site, one of the sites of all time. It should work, but I think I should lower the ground a little bit more too. So the first big thing that we're gonna need to figure out here with this farm is dead center. Uh, dead center, check down there with nice and easy. Dead center should be that block right there. In the middle of this farm, I know for sure what I wanna have is a little bit of water. It's been a long time since I built any build. Oh my, oh my, we're going a little too crazy now at the village. At the local village, we have another child. Hi, friend. Would you like to be employed inside of this farm? Oh, yes, you do. Okay. It's been a long time since I built any villager breeder, but I think, like, long story short, we could probably self contain it in a solid square of blocks. You know, something like this right here. A 9x9 nine nine area that should be more than enough food, I, I, I think. I think the farmer will basically always try and harvest. It should be good. Knowing what I know about these farms, we put a slab right there, waterlog it, and then we put a composter right there, dead center. After that, it's all aesthetics. It's all aesthetics. I need to figure out what I want to do with the farm to make it look good. If I did something like that, then I would have three blocks right there. I could make the perfect looking arch. Maybe not with these blocks. I'll come up with something else, but yeah, maybe like the most perfect looking arch dead center in the middle and then stationed on one side dead center. So like probably right there, I'm going to need to come up with a contraption that I think has like a fence. If I can remember, we have like a fence and then a, a villager standing over here and a fence and a hopper down there or something. And they throw the food. I take the food and it's all kind of wonderful and fun. I feel like if I built a container like that, put a villager inside of it, it should, it should probably work. Bamboo. I know I had to chop down world's greatest bamboo farm of all time for this build, but I think I, I think I'm gonna have way more than enough extra bamboo to replant and make it bigger than ever before. I should definitely use some bamboo on this build. I think that would look so good. It's not the old times anymore too. I've got coal. I could use glass. Oh yes, glass. All right, now here's the big question. I've got a composter all the way up on the hill. No, you don't want the composter. Okay, you want to go all the way over to Barrel City? No, you want to go in my house. Oh, I would really rather you not, you know. Oh, and actually, you make it difficult to this barrel. It contains all of my food. I don't know what you just stole from me, but I don't like it. I stole something. I actually genuinely have no clue what that villager stole. Like, <laughs> what did it take? And now I have a problem. I have no clue where this villager decided to wander off to. Is it a second? Oh, that's it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I can't believe this villager is really going to make me do it, but I guess I got to run around the entire village and take out every single workstation that isn't the composter. No. Listen, guys, I don't know who's working where, but no, 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 no. No, no more working in here. These are my barrels. Go over to the local farm. And to not this random farm either. Don't go to this farm. I found this farm too. And no, 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 no. This is not your workstation. Walk over here, uh, you take a look at the workstation, okay? And then go uh, hightail it over there. That's where I want you to work forever. Yeah, no, I did actually find this random planted food box all the way up here at the top of the village, though. I, I don't know if I ever noticed this before. It's cool. All right, so one villager, check done, down, good to go. If I build these blocks up at least temporarily a little bit higher and then put some fences in here... Is it... Why is the sky so dark? Is that like rain? I think that means rain, right? But it doesn't rain in the desert. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. I forgot that that doesn't happen in the desert. I hate the rain. Oh, this is actually kind of beautiful. I love living in the desert, I guess. Aw. 
You're doing the flower trick. Oh, for me? No way. A flower for me. Aw. Oh. Uh, that's awkward. I think it was for you. Well, golly gosh, how quickly they grow up. I can't believe it. You're fully grown already, ready for employment. Ah, yes, uh, you. Okay, carefully. No Paul over here. Carefully. You need to stay out of the way. Carefully. We go ahead and hit the boat. And now you're free. You go ahead and make one more baby. Sure, why not? Make a baby. I don't care. But one of you does need to come over here and take things a little bit more seriously. You go ahead and work at this workstation. Aha. Uh -huh. Or maybe even that workstation. I think I could maybe trick a villager to walk right into this thing. Work at this workstation. And then trap... Oh, wrong block. Okay. Okay. All right, so you, my friend, it looks like you claimed the profession. All that I need you to do is maybe walk back over here and reclaim it again. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh, keep coming over this way, and yeah, go ahead and jump over here. Oh, you want to go in there now? Okay, all right, well, how about just come right over this way? Mm-hmm, that's the shortcut. You walk right there, and oh, no, 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 you're so close, you're so close. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. You, you don't leave. You don't leave this whole area. You, you stay here. Okay, go there. No, you're so close. You're so close. Ah, no. You're so close. Yes, stay there. Stay there. We got him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And you? Ah, you're supposed to be inside of this thing uh, farming all day long. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Stay inside of there and boom. I got him. Not one. <laughs> but two villagers, both of them trapped inside of this thing forever. Perfectly in position. Now, uh, you, good friend, good sir, good friend, good sir, I don't think you need to actually be actively employed. I can go ahead and take that away. I guess dig this out, get that, and there we go. Now all I need to do is not only get a little bit of food inside of this thing, but clean it up and make it look good. Clean it up and make it look good. I think I've come on to something. I think I have a good idea. To clean this buddy up and make it look really, really good, but also on theme. What if maybe we came in here with, like, sandstone or something like that? That way, I could go up with a couple blocks of sandstone, do, like, a staircase, and make a perfect arch. Something like that could look pretty cool. Even better for all of my sandstone sandstone needs today. Look at this. All I need to do is walk over here to the local sandstone mine we discovered earlier. I can dig this stuff up, no big deal. Turn around, flip it over to the other side of the base. <laughs> and look, all I can say is, it's time for a time lapse. Just a tiny bit of time building and lads, I think I've done it. I think I came up with something that's pretty nice looking. With the yellow stripe, kind of a funny story. I was building the build and I looked over there on the horizon and saw the yellow shining through like a bright light. And I kind of knew at that moment that I needed to go and collect some of it to put it on the build. Jumping down off the side of the build and take a look at it. I mean, it's small and simple, but I think it's nice. Up on top of the build, I do not have a ceiling. This is your legal responsibility, okay? Like, I'm gonna just let you know right now that I'm not putting a ceiling on this thing because from earlier in the episode when it didn't rain, I don't think it's gonna... I mean, look, if it can't rain in the desert, it can't thunderstorm in the desert, right? So, I think I'm fine. I, I think I'm good. Villagers, they're geniuses, but at the same time, not so much. They can't use a fence gate, so I can put a fence gate right there so I can get in and out whenever I need to. I wanted to double up on these fences just in case, you know, like the... I'm not looking for a wolf to jump over the fence or nothing like that, you know? Around the outside of the build, on the ground here, I kind of am lost. I don't know what to do. I was thinking maybe bamboo, but I feel like that might, like, look a little bit random, right? So instead, maybe, what about terracotta? Just continue the bottom part of the build. Oh, yes, yes, terracotta! Terracotta is 100% the way. Now, uh, <laughs> kind of a funny thing uh, right here. Uh, we got to do a little bit of redstone. Now, the redstone, that, that's not so funny. The redstone is really straightforward. We're going to go ahead and move into here and dig down a couple blocks. I think, I, I hope I set this up right, where the villager will try and just throw the bread over to the villager. It won't be able to get it. It'll hit the fence and fall down. Actually, a little correction. We could drop the chest right there. We could put the hopper right there so it's even closer. So, like, there should be no reason the villager accidentally, like, ends up picking the food or uh, anything like that. It should be fine. 
Hoppers work pretty quickly. I don't think we'll have a problem. To access all of the loot from the outside, all I need to do is open that chest. That's nice. It's easy. So just like that, if all of my calculations are correct, we've got ourselves a handy little automatic food farm. All I need to do is plant some food in it, let it grow up, and then I'll have infinite food forever. That's all I need to do. I said on day number 20 here, all I need to do is walk inside of this thing, plant a tiny bit of food, and I'll basically be good to go. Oh, boy. So I was scoping around the village, checking it out, seeing what kind of food that I have. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking, like, maybe potatoes. I'll have potatoes and I'll farm them. This is the food that I have. Wheat and beets. I, myself, am the proud owner of two types of food. I've got wheat and I've got beet. Now, the wheat, theoretically, I think, would be fine. Maybe the villagers would craft it into bread for me. I'm not too sure. Nah, I'm, I'm just not sure. So, I can't believe this, but uh, I don't have an option, guys. This is how we're ending the episode today. We put it on our immediate to-do list. Potatoes. I need to go out into the wild, scavenge for a little while, and find myself some potatoes. Eventually. Oh, are you the one who stole from me? You stole my beet seeds. Nice. I need potatoes. I need to go out into the wild and find potatoes somewhere out inside of the wild. Then I come back, swap it out with potatoes, put a... Oh, I'll take that stone cutter down, put a campfire over here, and all of a sudden I've got a baked potato titan machine. We did it. We made it to the end of the episode. Right now, down in the comments, I would like to see a lot of comments. Really nice, warm things like praising this automatic baked potato machine. All right? Yeah, thank you. List week is coming up over here on the channel. Something I like to do every single year. I gotta incorporate it into the series somehow. So we'll see. Consider becoming a channel member today. It supports me directly. And there's some cool, nice bonuses. Tap the join button for more. Tap like, subscribe, compliment the potato farm. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.